guys, happy Monday. Hope everyone's having a good day. You can probably tell just by the darkness outside, but it's like the ass crack of dawn right now. Anyway, we got a good Monday discussion video coming up. We're gonna talk fuel and non-fuel Milwaukee rations. Which one's better, if it's worth getting the fuel? Just kind of my opinion on that. But before we start that, something super ironic happened yesterday. So, I actually got a speeding ticket in the Prius. I don't think in the history of man anyone has ever gotten a speeding ticket in a Prius. I, don't, I didn't think it was possible, but it is in fact possible to get a speeding ticket in a Prius. Basically, here's my ticket. Basically, there's this, there's two ways to get to the Fargo Morgan area from where I live. It's about half an hour either way, but there's two roads. One, you can just take the interstate in. The other way, it's just this old two-lane highway that pretty much runs out in the nowhere. And speed limit's 55. One of my old buddies from tech school who's from the city has actually stayed with me last night and he was in the car and we just got to talking and I wasn't paying attention and I was going like 75 and like I said it's out in the middle of nowhere and it's just a straight shot and happened to go past a trooper and got popped but I just it must have been the headlights or something I mean they must add some extra power because I don't think anywhere in the history of man has anyone gotten a ticket for speeding in a pre so anyway, after I get this coffee in me and the day progresses, we'll get into our discussion video, which is gonna be Milwaukee's non-fuel and fuel-powered ratchets. So, stay tuned for that. All right guys, so we're back. Like I said, today for our discussion video, we got the non-fuel and the fuel ratchet. I thought about doing a couple tests with these, but honestly, when I watch tool reviews, that's probably my least favorite part. I just wanna know what someone that actually uses them thinks about them, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So this ratchet obviously came out first. This is the non-fuel, so it has a brushed motor. This one's rated at like 35 foot-pounds of torque, like 225 to 250 RPM out of this guy. This one is rated at 55 foot-pounds of torque so 35 foot-pounds 55 foot-pounds and this one spins a little slower it's about 200 rpm so so this one is quite a bit more powerful this is again the fuel version which came out later and right off the bat you can tell just by holding this one here the fuel that it just is built better the head has more metal to it it's got more substance it's, it's heavier duty um, a lot of this material on the grip and stuff just feels like it's higher quality than on the non-fuel the brushed version so aside from that the fuel you can see these are both 3 8 drive both those torque specs are for the 3 8 drive models you can get these both in half inch drives and in quarter inch drives respectively for either model um, you can tell the fuel is a lot bigger i mean it is that is butt to butt on the batteries down there and the fuel looks like a monster compared to the non-fuel version now which one's better which one do i like more which one do i use more the answer might surprise you i actually gravitate towards the non-fuel version nine times out of ten to my fuel now i love milwaukee all their fuel stuff i have as far as impact guns go i'd hands down take the fuel any day out of the week they're just way better i have not picked up a milwaukee impact gun or drill that is not the fuel version that i liked more than the fuel version that being said there's a couple different reasons why i think this one is a nicer unit and respectively this one is about 120 dollars bare tool 125 this one's about 180 175 180 bucks bare tool so this is quite a bit more expensive now when you look at this one like i said 35 foot pounds out of this guy 55 out of this this is on par with a lot of the snap-on and mac air ratchets as far as torque goes a lot of those have 50 to 60 foot pounds of torque so this is right there and honestly both these ratchets, ask me the last time I used an actual air ratchet. I couldn't even tell you. It's been at least a year, you guys, and I use these things all the time. I mean, you can tell they're pretty beat up. They work great, but they get used. I don't keep them pretty. They look pretty banged up. And like I said, it's just great. I hate dragging an air hose around, and air ratchets are so loud. These things are pretty quiet. You can tell this one just got like a crisper operating sound to it and it stops right away. It, there's no lag time, it just stops. Obviously, just like an air ratchet though, both these guys will pinch your hands. If you're tightening something, it doesn't stop, it just rolls you into whatever you're doing. But back to which one I like better. I gravitate more towards this one because one, it's lighter. This thing, 
I don't know the exact weight of either one of these models, but this thing feels like a feather compared to this. This thing is literally like hanging onto a brick. It's heavy. And if you got your arm contorted in a weird spot, it gets to be a lot to hang on to. Now, compared to the Snap-ons, the Matcos, whatever, battery ratchets, this is still quite a bit smaller. And granted, you could get a smaller head if you get the quarter inch model, but I use 3 8 by far the most during the day, so I went for the 3 8 on both of these. If I need a quarter inch, I just stick an adapter on the end and I'm done with it. Now, so that's the first thing is the weight. The second thing is probably the most obvious. Look at that size difference. And not just the height, but the width of the head there. This one is a lot harder to fit into weird spots. This thing can go pretty much anywhere I ask it to. It's it's fantastic, it's insane, the spots that I've put this thing in, and it delivers every time. This thing, I like it, and it's got more power, but like I said, it's heavy, and it's a lot bulkier. Um, had I known that I would use this one so much more, I don't know that I would have picked this up. Now, this does have more power, and I think people, just like with cars, same with tools, stats on paper sell things to people. They sell items before people even know what's good. They're biased because they read something on a piece of paper. When you talk about 55 foot-pounds versus 35, that's almost double. It sounds like this thing has a lot more power, but I can tell you right now when you use it, it's not as noticeable as you would think. It does have more power, but this thing I would take 10 times over this one just because it, just because of the compactness and the lightness of this tool. And yes, this one feels a little better. Yes, it has a little more power. I can notice the power difference, but it's not enough for me to justify using this one over this one because let's be honest most of the time you need a ratchet an air ratchet a battery ratchet you're doing it because you're in kind of a weird spot this one i grab mainly if i'm doing brake jobs the caliper isn't something that's in a super weird spot and usually they're over tight and they're like the two 14 mils that you'd pull off to get the caliper off usually they're too tight and if i spin this thing up it'll usually crack them loose whereas this thing might struggle a little bit like i said this one feels like it's built a little better just a little too heavy and bulky i really like it i still use it but if i need to get into a tight spot which is usually what you're doing with an air ratchet or in this case battery ratchets i would go for this i would save your money and go for this ratchet if you're just looking to buy one or the other i think this one will get you by just as well as this would and let's be honest even if you have to stick a wrench on something and break it loose first who cares you break it loose quick and then you zip it off with this thing no problem the other thing is small fasteners you don't have to really worry about this thing breaking them this thing you got to kind of be careful you could snap off little fasteners with this one just because it has more power but as you know i'm a big milwaukee fan and i think it's pretty incredible that you can get air tool results and air tool power out of a battery tool and the nice thing about it is obviously it uses the m12 battery so all the batteries between both these guys are interchangeable they use the same thing but that's my rendition of a review on the fuel ratchet versus the non-fuel ratchet i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helps you make a choice when you're looking at buying one of these let me know what you think of these tools if you use them every day maybe you don't maybe you like the fuel better tell me why i like to read those things down below otherwise one other announcement i have is we're going to be doing another giveaway we're going to be doing a 500 500 subscriber giveaway so tell your friends tell your neighbors hide your kids hide your wife no don't hide them show them the video and make sure you subscribe down below below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.